the clock is ticking just over a month until Election Day and the presidential race in Wisconsin, it is close and that's why we're seeing the candidates here so often. Political reporter Jason Calvi joins us with a deeper look at exactly what the new numbers reveal, Jason. Yeah, Mary, you just mentioned all those campaign visits flooding our state. You can also talk about all those campaign ads as well. Here's one reason why the new Marquette poll finds about 6% of Wisconsin is still undecided. And this is a state where the most recent presidential elections were decided by less than a point. Let's look at the head-to-head -head matchup right here. You can see Vice President Kamala Harris with a four-point lead over former President Donald Trump. That is within the margin of error for this Marquette poll. Now, the Senate race shows Democrat Tammy Baldwin growing her lead to seven points over Republican Eric Hovde. But when given the option, 9% of likely voters in this race say they're undecided. The Marquette poll also finds enthusiasm has fluctuated this year between Republicans and Democratic voters. It was sort of atypical that there was such a strong Republican lead in enthusiasm early in the year, though maybe understandably so. But now the surge for Democrats seems to have flattened out, but at a high level. And Republicans moved up after the convention and have moved up again in this poll, so that the two are pretty closely balanced. I'd say that's fairly typical. And with all that enthusiasm, things can get pretty dicey. You know, have you ever stopped talking to an aunt, uncle, coworker, mm. friend about politics? Oh, yeah. Well, Mary, you're not, you're not alone. This new poll finds 46% of the states say they stopped talking to somebody about politics. Well, and you just, you know, a lot of people, the holiday gets together, get right. togethers, or those family get togethers, the reunions, they can be a little awkward. That's a lot of right. people defriending on Facebook. <laughs> when it comes to these polls, Jason, how much can you actually trust them? Well, this Marquette poll, it's actually got high ratings across the country. So the polling website, 538, rates the Marquette poll third best in the entire country. Mm. You look back at 2020, they had Joe Biden winning the state by five points. He won by less than a percentage point, so they were about four off then. And in 2016, they had Hillary Clinton winning the state by about six points. And remember, she lost. Donald Trump won the state by less than a point, so they were about six or seven points off then in 2016 as well. Yeah, that's why they always say that margin of error. Right. You know, one thing that you didn't mention in your piece, it was a great piece, but you didn't mention the, the third-party candidates. What impact are they playing here? It, you're seeing, you know, you're seeing some more liberal third-party candidates. You're seeing some conservative third-party candidates. So it's really maybe potentially a little bit of a wash, but in a state where recent elections have been decided by less than a point, I mean, their, their votes really can impact this election, I think, in many ways. Uh, you saw RFK. He really was kind of the top of the third-party candidates. He's yes. dropped off, mm -hmm. but he's still on the ballot. Uh, RFK right now is getting about 3% in this Marquette poll, but back Earlier this year, he was getting 16%. So you don't really see third-party candidates dropping in support in Wisconsin, mostly RFK Jr., but we'll see how people actually vote come election day, now about 34 days away. Boy, all eyes on those independents for so, so many of the people looking at the polls, strategy, et cetera. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah, all right. Jason, thank you.